Hello and welcome to Tonic Studios. Today we have another Tonic Tuesday. So we have tips, tutorials and techniques for you. And today we're going to talk about hanging decor for your homes. Today we're going to talk about wall hangings and home decor. Mm -hmm. Lots and lots of different things that would come under this. Absolutely. And we've got the perfect day, haven't we? We have, absolutely. Or day do. set, shall I say. Yes. It's our frames. A tailored frame. So we're going to have a look at some samples and bring these in. So we actually have these in four different versions. Our lovely tailored frames. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get them all on here. So these two, okay, let's start with the two simpler ones. We these, do get lots of queries, why have we got so many mm -hmm. and what do they do? So now we can tell you all of it. So first up we have the Shallow Bay Tailored Frame. So this is going to give you quite a thin edge on your frame. I'm trying to see one. This one I think is a Shallow Bay. Yeah. Um, so you've got quite a thin edge on your frame here. It's a nice straight sided one, so flat on the top, flat on the inside. It's gonna make you a frame that way. This one then is a slightly wider fronted. There we go, one. thank you very much. So this is gonna give you a wider frame, but it's also not as deep this way. Yeah. It does also include the die to give you a lovely um, wood grain as well. I like the wood grain it. effect. Yes. Lovely exactly. for a bit of ink in. So you can bring out that effect as well. That's it, so shallow bay is your narrow front, floating breeze is your wider front, and then your straight sided frames. We then have two beveled frames as well. So this is cool awning and gilded tranquility. And if I can remember which way around these go, it's easier to look at the dies for this. So your, which one is this now? So cool awning is your narrow fronted, beveled frame I which I think I'm is that again I don't think we've got them here so this one I think is this one because it's got a bigger edge here okay yes so this one has you've got a narrow flat piece and then a wider bevel yeah on here which you can see so if you have a look on the dies where the wood grain part is that's going to be you can see it's a wider section on there and then the other one so this is your gilded tranquility is the other way around basically so you've got a wider straight part and a narrower bevel or oh, cam's pointing to one over here oh if we go around yes that's what i was looking to see if we have there we go so they're the Excellent. reverse of each other hopefully you can see so you've got a narrow flat part wide bevel wide flat part narrow bevel so those are the four die sets that we have um, at the time of recording, they are available in the UK. Yeah. They're currently showing us out of stock in the US, but that is just due to our systems update. Bear with us on that. But it's not just the dies that we have of these, we actually do have them available as SVG files as well. So if you are a digital crafter, if you have a digital cutting machine, we have these exact same layouts and they will make exactly the same frame just using a digital die cut, mm -hmm. digital cutting machine. I keep saying die cutting. A digital cutting machine rather than metal dies. So you have all of the same options with the different edges, but of course with your digital cutting, you can resize them if yeah. you want to. Um, so lots of other options. But now, you're not gonna get your wood grain. No, no, we can't do that, that unfortunately. No. <laughs> not that clever. Saying that, even with the dies, you can go from a teeny tiny frame. Mm -hmm. Yep, you can resize You can them. even go smaller than that. And you can go up to, that would be the biggest frame, I think, on these sets, thereabouts. You can cut an extra one and add it on to make it bigger. 
But I would try making this size first. Yes, make the biggest one first. Absolutely. Learn how it goes together and how to use it, and then obviously make it. And it actually has on the dies, we've got numbers on the back that you can cut your frame down to, yeah. so you can make sure they're all the same length. Yes. Or if you want a rectangular frame, yeah. you can cut two to one length, two to the other. That's right. So lots of options there. So what kinds of things would you hang on the wall? We think in photos. Mm -hmm. Memorabilia, mm -hmm. um, deco wreaths, yes, art, art. What about the children's art? Do you know when they come on with these absolutely wonderful masterpieces from school, and you shove them on the fridge for a little while, they get all dog-eared. What about putting one in a frame? You could even put some magnets on the back on these Absolutely. frames so that it literally goes onto the fridge with a frame around it yeah. to keep it a little bit more precious and really Absolutely. kind of show it off and then you can just change it out when they bring the next one home. Yeah. <laughs> We've got door hangings. Mm -hmm. So you could put this Santa stop here for Christmas Eve. Um, this one is done for the garden. It could be anything. Mum's kitchen, dad's kitchen, yeah. the bathroom. I've got one like this that says the pool room in my house. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so think also of things you buy in shops. So this one is Absolutely. a lovely one. This is a little wooden piece that you would buy in, you know those kind of big box stores where you can buy lots of home things. It's just a very simple little thing that's been dressed up with a frame. Yes. And you know, you could add more stuff to this frame if you wanted to, or not. If you didn't, you can make it any colour that you want that was yeah. going to go with your home decor. And because this is just some cardstock, if you repaint and redecorate, take the frame off, yeah. make another but one in a different colour, you can Perfect. still keep your art piece but it's framed to suit your new room. I mean, it could be you've got a cafe. Mm -hmm. And you do want to put the password up for your Wi-Fi. Lots of reasons, Absolutely. isn't there? Um, upcycling as well. So we've got this Absolutely. lovely little slate heart here, which used to be, a, I think it used to be a coaster. I, I think it did. I by the it did. Uh, felt pads on the back. <laughs> but now it's a lovely hanging piece. No, we must have had uh, string in there because it's got holes in there. Or some I think it must be just to stop you knocking the wall. Maybe. But it could be something that you had, an old piece of wood Absolutely. that you've got at home and you can upcycle it into a piece of art and put it up on the wall. Lots of different things that you can display around your home. Looking behind us here, mm -hmm. this could be something from, um, oh, what am I thinking? You know 12 by 12 paper pads? Yes. And you think, I really like that. Then this would be lovely for something like this. Mm -hmm. You've got, I don't oh, think you can see it all. <laughs> you can just see the end. There's love in the long uh, ribboned banner at the back. Mm -hmm. But that could be a name, that could be a wedding date. You know, it could be the numbers of the wedding. Yeah. I don't mean the numbers, the date of the wedding. Yes. Um, you know, all these could decorate an event. Mm -hmm. They could decorate a room, they could decorate They'd be children's brilliant rooms. for that kind of thing because they are, number one, they're cardstock because they're relatively cheap to put exactly. together. They're exactly. lightweight for transporting. It doesn't really matter if they get a bit dinged up on the way home because probably no. you're not going to use them again. That's you know, it, Or people it? can take them with them. Yeah. Children's name plates for their door. Yes. That would be lovely. Pop their name on it wherever they like. If they're teenagers, keep out wherever they want. <laughs> or do not enter. Enter yeah. at your peril. <laughs> exactly. Definitely if it's a teenager. Um, but you can make it quirky. You can be as funny. You can be as traditional. You can be as off the wall as you want to be with these. Because they're your designs. Yeah. And I think that is the thing you're never going to be able to buy, no. is it? No. You're no. only going to be able to buy what somebody wants to make. Yes. But this is what you want to make. You could have a whole gallery wall, couldn't you? Absolutely. You could have like family photos interspersed with like yes. little bits of memorabilia, maybe from holidays. You know? Yes. Maybe you've got a nice flyer from a trip that you went on. Yeah. You've got some of the tickets or shells you collected from the beach. Something like this. Something like that. Yes, exactly. That's a lovely example. So you might remember this, this from our um, official magazine number three. Karen made this for us. So it's basically a little holiday memories frame. So you've got a couple of holiday photos in there. You know, you could put other little tickets and pieces in there. And it could be a lovely little 
A memento. Reminder. Yeah. But you could also use it. the bigger frames. You could make them yes. into shadow frames. So I know we have one here somewhere. Yes, this one. So this one is two of the frames stacked together with a piece of acetate to make a front. And then some lovely crystals that shake around in there. I so you can that. put things into them. Yes. Keep them dust free, obviously, with your nice bit of acetate yeah. to uh, protect them in there. But yeah, you could put in shells. You've got a nice picture from the beach. Maybe a little... Um, I don't know, if you went on one of those little train rides along the front, yes. if you've got a ticket, you could pop a couple of them in there, some of the shells that you collected while you were there. Shall Just we've like, seen exactly, while you're there. Lots of little things. Decorate Absolutely. your home. Absolutely. But it could be something you've made completely from scratch as well. I absolutely love this one. Love the paper on this. So this one is just a stamp. So it's a single stamp in the background. Will it fit on the camera just? So it's just one single stamp put on a couple of layering dies and then framed absolutely beautifully. Like, look at this with all that gorgeous paper around the edge of there. So it's not even something you've had to buy. No. Literally just from the supplies no. you've already got in your craft room. And we've all got lovely paper that you oh, really yes, don't we want have. to use on a card. <laughs> this is something that you need to be making with that paper because you can look at it every single day yeah. then. And you can have a little stroke of it if you want to. Absolutely. We all know that we like to stroke the paper. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Have a little sniff. Whichever. We've got embroidery hoops as well then. So I've got the uh, outer edge of this embroidery hoop and then Al's got the inner edge because, you know, one one hoop will make two projects for you. Exactly. So I've got a nice wintry one covered in snowflakes ready for Christmas or even just the winter season. And then Al's got a lovely kind of spring flowery version going on there. And again, this is all just, so other than the embroidery hoop, cardstock. All cardstock and a little bit of lace and string. And ribbon, exactly. But the nice thing about things like this is that you can rotate your decorations as well. Absolutely. They're fairly small to put away. Yeah. So, you know, you can bring in more spring things. Yes. As the weather gets warmer. You can have some nice bright colours for summer. You can then bring out all of the Christmas stuff later yes. in the year. Yes. You could have pictures of your grandchildren on their first Christmas or something. Mm -hmm. And every year... You torment them and you put them all up. Bring them back out. Even better when they're 21. Yeah. <laughs> My son says to me, because I'm packing things up, he went, you're not putting those pictures up again, are you? Because when he was little, I used to have them all going up my staircase. And then we moved and I didn't put them back up. But maybe oh. I will when I move. Oh, absolutely you should. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm an evil mother. <laughs> Mum's done that recently. There's a horrifying family photo of all of us out together. Oh, so it's like, oh, it's sentimental. It's all our first family outing with Simon. Um, but I hate the photo because I, I look awful in it. And oh, I thought it disappeared damn. for good. But it's come back out recently. With a vengeance. Yes. Well, James didn't like his graduation photos, so that's never gone up. He's like, don't put that up. Don't put it up. So I have to put something up, don't I? Absolutely. Find another one that's equally as hideous, I reckon. Exactly. I mean, my, my mother's favourite photo of me when I was little, oh, I used to cringe. I used to hide it behind the pot plants. I'd hide it behind anything because I had hair up in a bun, which my mother used to ram all these clips in my hair to hold it up because I had really thick, heavy hair. I've obviously pulled it, so it's hanging off my head. I've got a squint. I've got no tooth in the front because I lost my tooth quite young. I had a tooth abscess. And I'm given a big toothless grin and my mother absolutely loved it. I hated it. <laughs> and I'm sure it's still there somewhere. More than likely. What else have we got around here? I've got, oh, here's a nice one. So gifts. You could make absolutely things to give to people as a gift. So this was one that we did with a kit not so long ago. Um... You but you can make it with a boat frame as well. Yeah. It doesn't have to be um, a card frame. No. It can be one you've bought. It could be one you've had hanging around that's got a little bit dinked around yes. the edges. Pop a bit of mousse on it. Absolutely. Make it look a bit pretty. Yeah, hide all the flaws. Absolutely. Put something in it. So lots and lots of different ideas. I'd love to see what kind of things you do with home decor, with your paper crafting as oh. well. Put your photos below. So yeah, tag us, um, so across social media, at Tonic Studios, and also in our official Facebook group as well. We'd love to see what kind of things you are making. We really would. 
Especially if you are someone who uses their SVGs. I'd love to see what kinds of things you do with them. Like yes. I said, we are, neither of us are... I'm not an SVG Digital girl. cutting crafters mm. at all. We are both very hard to die hard. Die hard, die, die cutters. cutters. Oh my goodness, I don't have words. Yeah. Um, we are die hard, die cutters. So for us, trying to think about using digital cutting machines, I just, I wouldn't know where to start. Not me. I did have a digital cutting machine, but it had a cartridge and I never linked it to the computer. So you just literally put the cartridge in, select where you want and off it goes. Mm -hmm. But I never did it with a computer. So now everything is with a computer and I wouldn't have a clue. As in so the yes. rest of my computer stuff, really. <laughs> Share that with us. I, I really genuinely would love to see it, especially if you've used any of our tailored frames SVGs. Absolutely. I would like to see what kind of things that you've done with them. Yeah. Yeah. So we've talked about them. Or Should anything we... you've done with frames in general. Or oh, frames in general, yes, indeed. Or any hanging wall decor. Have you ever had someone make you the most beautiful card and you framed it because you really don't want it to get damaged? And you don't want to throw it away at the end oh, of your you birthday can't. or anniversary or whatever it was for. But you also don't just want to leave it in a cupboard or in a drawer no. somewhere. It should be out on display. This would be a lovely way of showing I had showing a beautiful those. Pergamano card given mm. me, well, the hours and hours and hours of work. I can never get rid of this. No. And I am going to put it in a frame. There you go. There's That's a job for you. That's my job. <laughs> so I'm going to show you how to put one of the frames together. Because I know some people do find these a little bit confusing. Yeah. But they're honestly very simple. So I've pre-done a couple of the panels. I've got one still to show you. So this was using the, which one did I use? Mm. One of the shallow ones, wasn't there? This one? No. The other no, one. I think it's the other one. Yeah. So this one is using the shallow bay tailored frame. So you've got the wider front panel and the narrow height, if you like. So it's going to be a very shallow depth but you're going to have yeah. a nice big area of frame around the outside of whatever it is you're looking. exactly exactly very important so you can see on here you've got your numbers that have scored in hopefully you can see those yes perfect you've obviously got all your score lines in here as well for all of your folds i've gone through and folded this you can see that i've taped this and this wasn't my idea Mammy Annie even said, are you taping this? <laughs> so she said, I can do it. I did. I did. But if you did want to cut this down, so I'm leaving this as the full size. But if you did want to cut this down, you can use these as a guide for you. Because obviously these are on the die. Mm -hmm. They're not something you add in extra, so they're not going to move. They are part of the main die that cuts out your panel. So if you wanted to cut them to 17 centimetres and you wanted to know that every single one was the same, you can use that little ruler on there. Absolutely. The wood grain comes out. Mm -hmm. See, I've not We've put the wood grain in. Because, yeah, this one is very hard to get off. There we are. Because I've got classic card, I've already got the texture on there. I don't want to add the wood grain on as well this time. Yes, exactly. And if you had a patterned card, you wouldn't want to add wood no. grain. But that is your die. Okay. There you go. And you cut from the straight end. You need to keep the shape in. So you cut from the straight end. Yes, here. this bit is important. This is how it goes together. So yes. um, always cut down from here, which is why your numbers start at this end and go up that way. But I love the fact that you can make sure they're all exactly the same. Yeah. Even if you don't trust your trimmer or you're unsure that you're going to measure it to exactly the same place. Because obviously trying to measure something that doesn't have a straight edge isn't always exactly. that easy. Exactly. So I've kept all of them the same. I've already put these three together. I'm going to do this one. So you just basically fold on all of your score lines and you're going to make it into like a little tube. You're just going to fold the numbers over the back like so. So your numbers will be visible on the back. Yeah, that is right. Yes, it is right. Because then you've got this section here, which is important because this is how you're going to join everything together. So, as uh, I have mentioned, we have got tape on this. We have, just to make it a little bit quicker. Yes. But it also makes it a little bit trickier because you've got to make sure you line it up perfectly first time. So but the one thing with this, you can fold it down flat. Yeah. Fold that one first. To there. Yeah. And then fold this one straight over yeah. the top. And it should in theory line up. Yes. Boop. 
she says. Yeah, there we go. Press that all the way along. And then boop, there we go. It's and now just freezing. Again. That's it. That's so. as hard as it gets. So if you're wet gluing it, you could do exactly the same. Obviously just hold it for a few seconds longer. Be kind to your glue. Give it time to dry. We say it all the time, we but do. it is important. That said, I am going to glue my four together. So we have a little tab, which we're just going to fold in on all of these. So like I said, I have all four and I'm leaving mine the length that they all cut to. I'm not chopping them down this time, just going for it. So all we're going to do is literally fit That's it. that in. Like, so I had to think about that then. Everyone <laughs> saw that as well as my brain registered what I'm doing. So this one's gonna slide over the top of this panel. So you can put glue on here to hold this in place. And then this tab is gonna slide into the top and this is gonna slide into that notch, just like that. It's just gonna give you that really nice crisp edge. You can put a little bit of glue yes. underneath this edge as well. Yeah, so just up to there, so like a triangle yes. here, basically. Or a bit of tape. Or tape, but probably I would suggest wet glue for this because you're going to be hanging it up on the wall. Yes. You want it to last, and if it's on the wall, it's more likely going to have heat and cold. Absolutely. Potential sunlight, and we all know that these things can affect your tape. Yeah. So make sure you've got a nice crisp edge on here. Make sure that everything is nice and square. Because obviously if this isn't square, your frame is not going to be square. No, it's not. A few seconds to grab. You know, we've been saying this a lot recently because we've been rushing things with glue, but you do need to be kind to your glue. Okay, next Everything one. is fast stage now though, isn't it? I know. We We're all so want everything rush, rush, yesterday. Rush. yesterday. And crafting is meant to be a mindful activity. Absolutely so it is. Take your time with it. Tie a bit of glue on that little triangle there as well. Slide that all together. So that one should now be fine. Again, just make sure that you've got nice square edges across here. Because mm -hmm. otherwise you'll find it starts to twist. You definitely don't want that to happen. No, you don't. Okay, round again. Next one. And how often would you be able to find a pink frame <laughs> in the shops? Definitely not this pink. No. The only way you would be able to achieve it is to paint. And that's a lot of hours in you know, one or two coats decorate, of drying time. Yeah. Yes. Sanding it down first to be able to actually paint yes. it in the first place. But you can have whatever you want. Any finish, if you wanted a pearlescent frame, yes. you could do that. Probably wouldn't recommend Miri because it would crack. Yes, I wouldn't recommend Miri. And trying to stick it together. Mm. Possibly not so easy either. It would be a little bit of a pain. But you can put whatever, you know, if you're a Nouveau fan, mm. bring your Nouveau into the frame. If you're a stamper, put some stamping onto yep, the frame. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, before you assemble it, obviously I wouldn't oh, recommend trying to stamp on it now. No, you've that bolt is gone at this point. Yes. You'd have to stick things on at this point. A little bit on there. Ooh. There we are. Tiny bit on that corner. And last one going in. Again, make sure we're nice and square on the back. And that's it. That's, that's how your easy it is frame. to put your frame together. Yeah, four die cuts, four little bits of gluing, one frame done. Perfect. So, now, you don't just want a frame on the wall. Obviously, you're going to want something to go in it. So I've cut myself a piece of cardstock that I'm just hoping is going to be big, big enough. Oof. Oof. Shall By we get another piece of, of card? Teeth. Do you want another piece? This is the width of A4 though, so we're going to have to just struggle on with this because oh, we can't it? get it any bigger. <laughs> have you trimmed an edge off it? Have you done an 8 by 8 with that? This is 8 and a quarter by 8 and a quarter, so oh, it is, is literally there? the width of. So probably I should have used started with a 12 by 12. Maybe. Lesson learned. Maybe. Do as I say, not as I do. As always. Okay. So but what you could do, you could always lay one yes. across and then you can rotate it. 
and put another one it's extra strength to your frame as well it is and um, probably you know unless you've got a particularly big piece of art you're probably not going to need this as the full size anyway um or you're going to cut it down into a rectangle rather than it being a square yeah Oh, that did not go down the edge. It'll wipe off. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. So I'm going to place this exactly precisely where it needs to go now. Okay, with. Because it only just covers. Oh, not quite. And I couldn't measure this until the frame went together, so I couldn't even pre-prepare it. Oh dear. Oops. Right, okay. I'm just going to flip this over and it probably is going to stick to my glass mat, but that's a future me problem. It's not something I need to worry about for now. Okay, so we have this lovely little fairy girl. And we've all got hoppers in our mm -hmm. collection. And I just thought she was so pretty. We had a little bit of trouble matching the flowers, didn't we? We did. We were trying to find the right colour. So we've tried our Coral Pearlescent card that came with Coral Skies. We tried our Coral Classic card. We did. We tried Candy Red and Rose Pink. Mm -mm. None of them look quite right. So we've gone with the pink in her top instead, which is more of a fuchsia. And we're just ignoring the roses, Absolutely, we are. So I'm going to stick this down by eye. Bye I'm eye. really risking it today. You are. In the Talk middle. Talk about risk it for a biscuit. So. I reckon she looks fairly central there. I think so. You'll be able to tell now when I put the frame on. But this could be a photo of your grandchildren, your own children. Mm -hmm. um, it could be your dog, your cat. It could, be could even be your iguana. Could be. Maybe you've got a gorgeous iguana. Could be a holiday photo. Yeah. Anything. Anything you want. So she was already cut into a beautiful circular shape. Mm. So we had to go with a circular shape to go around it. Absolutely. So I've used our ornate, ornate circular layering die set. And, you know, we've talked about layering die sets quite a lot recently. We have. And how handy and versatile they are. I couldn't be without a layering die no. set. It's one of the ones that we tend to keep on our desks because we use them very regularly. We do. Even if it's just, oh, I need to cut something out of a piece of background paper and I just need a circle. Yeah. A layering die set is always going to have a circle in there for you. So, a bit of pearl white on this and some glitter just to give her a little frame. Over the top. She's lovely. And then with that set, we've also got some nice leaves. So, we can pop some of these. Very pretty. Across the edges. And then we've uh, imagined that this is for a little girl's room. I don't know who Ella is. <laughs> but we'll find an Ella. We'll find one. Yeah, exactly. So, that's, um, But this is where, you know, if you've made something for children with a name on, they absolutely love it, yes. don't they? Yeah. They really if you do. sell your things at a craft fair, take your letters along with you so you can personalise them. Definitely. And I think if you already make like art print or something like that yes. if you offer to make a custom frame yes that's extra money that you can be charging for that thing absolutely that it is and that's only going to be a couple of pieces of card yeah and a little bit of time so a little sprig of leaves along there very pretty couple down here I love the ivy in these sprigs. I do I really like them I've just given them a tiny bit of shaping just with a ball tool just so they're not flat be kind to your glue. <laughs> <laughs> did anyone else see that ping straight It did. It had a nice little ping, I'm didn't it? I'm going to put this, I think, on this side. Oh, look oh, on look and again. Do you want me to hold it? It's fine. We'll just do this. So I've then got a couple more and some flowers as well. So That may or may not have drops that are still wet. That doesn't matter. No. And these are just the, so with your layering die set here, 
you can see we've got a couple of little flowers that go into this and then the leaf pieces have come from our luxurious leaves so you've got lots of different little sprays of leaves in there that's a lovely little set and again it's something that you're probably going to reach for over I and over so. and over again I mean, you can see with all the home deco ones we've shown you here today, how many of those have got flowers, leaves, mm -hmm. some sort of organic decoration. Yes. Because they are the kinds of things that you use often. They suit basically any project. Absolutely. You can put them in any colour that you want. If you're doing a man's car, then you just leave off the flowers. Yeah, just make it a nice piece of foliage instead. Okay. Because I know my, my son is getting married. And Tim and his partner were talking about um, flowers and things. And his partner doesn't want any flowers in the wedding. He just wants greenery. I think that's going to look lovely. I don't know what we'll have on the day. We've got a little way to go yet. But I'm sure there'll be a photograph somewhere. Bound to be. Sure we'll share one. Okay, a couple of little flowers going in. I like the fact you can use all your scraps as well to yes. make these. Yeah, these flowers are so tiny. They're very pretty though. And just pop them in with your greenery. I think maybe hmm, down here. Yeah. It's all about balance. It is. From there. And you know that's going to bounce because again, I've curled it with a ball. <laughs> so I probably should have done another flower looking at this now because I've got my two sprigs. And ideally, I would like a flower with each of them. So. Let's so that's one to go. You will have to cut another one. I will have to cut another one. So pop one in there. What do you think? Do you like this? And look how simple it's been. There we go. Very, very easy, isn't it? I think Super that is simple. a beautiful frame. And I think any member of your family would be proud to to receive this i think so and obviously you know we've just grabbed a topper that we happened to Absolutely. have upstairs but it could have been as i said a nice piece of pattern paper that you've got or something mm -hmm. it could be something relevant to the person you're giving it to as well you know if they really like sunflowers it could even be a silk sunflower <laughs> that you take off the stem and put into a lovely frame have you ever been to the wallpaper shop and looked at the beautiful wallpapers mm. they have there maybe you've got a scrap of it or your friend has got a scrap or you had a sample <laughs> i was not going to lead you down that path but they do give samples away that would be gorgeous framed just to match your deco mm -hmm. that'd be really nice or if you've got a piece left over from when you've been redecorating yes. your room yes on yes. that gallery wall, if you just have a space that you need to that fill. That would be lovely. It's a filler. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Yes. So hopefully we've given you some ideas on things you can do with your current paper craft supplies and making them into hanging wall or home decor. And not just hanging as well. I mean, these lovely little frames have just got a little kickstand on the back Absolutely. of them. Absolutely. That's just been cut with a simple bit of cardstock. But we've got two of these. Imagine these on your wall. Yeah, so I've got a... Black one, one grey one. With a nice little bright yellow flower centre. And again, that could be any colour that you want Absolutely. it to be. It's going to work. But I love the fact we've just got this little kickstand on the back. And you could just cut a scrap to do that for you. Yes. Very simply. Very pretty. Very pretty. The other one we've got here, mine is a little bit of chipboard or MDF. This one, yeah. It's like a um, balsa wood maybe. Yeah, could that's be. a balsa wood one. Could be. So yeah. if you've got scraps hanging around... Maybe you've had something delivered to you that's got a little bit of packaging. Then maybe you could use that as well. I think recycling is the way to go. Recycling, upcycling, you know, we're all into that kind of stuff Absolutely at the moment. Absolutely, we are. Absolutely. So have a look through your stash and see what you can do with what you've already got. Or maybe, you know, add in a flower dye set if you don't already have one. Yeah. Or some extra foliage. Like I say, you're never going to not use it. It's going to be something that you're going to come back to over and over and I over again. I think so. I think so. 
Thank you for joining us today. Bet, we've got a few bits to ask you first. Absolutely. If you've liked this video, give us a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more and share us with your friends. Definitely. If you have crafty friends who don't know about us, I'm sure they'd love to know about us. Bring them in, bring them into the Tonic community. We'd love to have them. We love, the more members in the Tonic family, the better, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us today. We'll see you all again very soon. Happy, Happy crafting. crafting.